The Shinoki Maru was built in 1939. The Shinoki was 500 feet in length and had a beam of 65 feet and was put into service to transport much needed oil from the U.S. to Japan. After the U.S. embargo on Japan, the Imperial Navy took her over and used her as a fleet oiler. The Shinkoki Maru was also part of the attacking fleet that bombed Pearl Harbor. The Shinoki Maru survived the two days of attacks during Operation Hailstorm, even after taking two aerial torpedo hits. Then she finally succumbed and went to the bottom of the lagoon where she now rests. You'll find hydroids up on the Shinoki and tons of small little fish. It's an excellent dive site. It also has telegraphs still intact on board. They are encrusted with corals. There are many places to penetrate into the Shikoki. Make sure you take at least two dive lights with you. It gets very dark within these areas. Roki, our tour guide, was going to take us back to the ship's infirmary, showing us highlights as we went. Inside the infirmary, we found tables full of, of vials of medicine. Also in the operating room, on one of the operating tables, were more vials. In the officer's head, we found porcelain urinals and a big porcelain bathtub. You will find lots of artifacts all over the Shikoki. Truck is a national park and it is against the law to remove any of these artifacts from any of the shipwrecks. Many of them are very dangerous. Live ammunition that when dried will explode. I also learned that all the tour guides will stash certain artifacts in order to show the divers when they take them on their tours. Roki was no different. He started pulling out his artifacts, but his prized possession was this medical box.